worried about mathematics? Don't worry. Akash Agarwal classes is here. If you are worried about the subject mathematics, there is no need to worry now. Because today we are going to discuss ABC analysis of CMA foundation, mathematics and statistics. If you are giving your exams in December 2025, so this video is going to help you a lot. If you are worried about the subject mathematics, be rest assured because today we are going to discuss which are all the important subjects you need to focus on, which subjects require a lot of practice, which subject is going to be lengthy, how to prioritize your subjects, which, uh, which uh, chapter to be studied uh, on the first priority, which, uh, which should be studied on the second priority. So we are going to decide all the priorities and all the important chapters in this video. So first of all, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to Akash Agarwal classes and yes, do share this video with all your friends. If you are aware, Akash Agarwal classes has launched is CMA Foundations exclusive English series. We are going to provide its English batch for all the South Indian students. We are going to provide all the lectures that are going to be recorded for CMA Foundation in English and they are not dubbed in English. So, you have to keep that thing in mind. So, your ABC analysis for CMA Foundation Mathematics and Statistics is going to be this. First of all, we are going to categorize your chapters. We are going to categorize all your chapters, all your chapters in three parts. That is going to be A, B and C. So your first part, this A category is that you are going to prioritize the these chapters. All the chapters in the category A are to be given the most priority and all the chapters in the category C are to be given the least priority. So over here we are going to discuss what are the chapters what are the uh, what are the weightages of the chapter in the A category, in the B category, in the C category? Which are the lengthier one? Which are more easier? How to focus on those chapter? Everything in this video. Now let's first see all the chapters of the C category. You have to watch the video till the end to see which are the most important chapters. So first we are going to see all the chapters that are to be kept on the last side on the least priority. The simple interest and the compound interest chapter. Simple interest, compound interest, all the formulas that you have studied for annuity and everything. The, that chapter is supposed to be given on the uh, C category. That chapter usually the marks and the weightage has been taken from the past papers analysis. They might differ. This is only uh, we have studied the past paper and this is a, a, a analysis on our basis. There is no, uh, there are high probable chances that the paper might differ. But from the past paper, from the uh, previous six items or eight items paper, this is the same constant thing that has been repeated. So here we can see that the simple interest and the compound interest comes for four marks. Four marks means two questions are asked from simple interest and compound interest. Then later the chapter indices, log and indices, one of the chapter which creates a lot of mess for you, which disturbs you a lot and there are many complicated things in it. The chapter is property based. The chapter is totally property based, but it is also kept on the C category as it comes for six marks. That means three questions. So three question to uh, one question for two marks each. It comes for how many marks? Six marks. Then there's a time and distance. Only one particular formula. And that chapter, again a very easy chapter, but that chapter is only for your time and distance comes for only two marks. From the previous papers, it has been seen that the question, only one particular question for time and, series, time and distance in, is being asked for two marks. So the time and distance chapter is also going to be for, uh, it will fall in the category C. And last but not the least, stats theory. 
द चैप्टर नंबर वन फ्रॉम स्टैट्स चैप्टर नंबर वन फ्रॉम योर स्टैटिस्टिक्स पार्ट अ वेरी लेंदी चैप्टर टोटली थियोरी बेस्ड चैप्टर दिस चैप्टर इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू कम अंडर योर सी एटेगरी एज इट ऑल्सो कम्स फॉर एट मार्क्स ओनली यू कैन अज्यूम और एक्सपेक्ट फोर क्वेश्चन three questions around 3 to 4 questions in this chapter statistical description of data stat theory i have written out over here first chapter is of your stats so only one chapter from the whole stats comes into your c category so all the other chapters you have to consider that you have to, all the other chapters are going to come either in the a category or in the b category so we are going to discuss that categories as well but for now in the c category we are seeing that there are four chapters simple interest and compound interest log and indices time and distance stats and theory all these chapter in total are asked for 20 marks approximately so all these chapter sici log and indices time and distance stats theory come for 20 marks so you have to keep an eye over here majority students what they fall into this trap I have or a team AC is telling you that these chapter lie in the C category. This does not mean that you are going to leave this chapter or you are not going to study this chapter. You have to, you have to study all the chapter, you have to study all the syllabus, but these chapter are to be studied in the last. So, before going into the B category, let me tell you one thing. This is a very, 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 very important thing that AAC is going to bring. AAC is going to come up with the biggest announcement for all the students, whether it may be South Indian students or all the other students. The students who want the lectures to be conducted in Hindi or the students who want to lectures to be conducted in English. There is going to be a biggest announcement for the CMA Foundation students giving their exams in December 2025. The date of the announcement is going to be 20th of September, that is Saturday. 20th of September, live on our YouTube channel Akash Agarwal classes at 8 p.m. So don't miss this announcement at any cost. This is going to bring you a lot of surprises. It is going to bring you many updates about your upcoming revisions for your upcoming December 25 exams. So don't miss this announcement at any uh, this announcement at any cost. So now let's come to the category B. So in the category B. After this, we are going to discuss the category A, but in the category B, now we are seeing that there are total, I see, six chapters over here. There are total six chapters in the category B, if you see over here. The first chapter is from your mathematics, it is going to be your sets. It is going to be chapter sets. It, it, it is uh, going to lie in the category B. It is asked for 2 to 4 marks. That means 1 to 2 question from the chapter set is being asked. Then comes the most important chapter AP and GP from your mathematics. It also lies in the B category and it is asked for 2 questions 4 marks. Then we see quadratic equation being asked for again 2 to 4 marks, that is 1 to 2 questions. We see calculus. Calculus again market an important chapter. There are many uh, lectures available on the YouTube of Shruti Ma'am. Ma'am has given you the whole detailed uh, lectures for calculus. Calculus lectures are available. You can get the links in the description as well. And yes, don't forget, AC is going to come up with a huge announcement. In that also, all these subjects, all the chapters in mathematics are, we are going to come up with something. So, yes, stay tuned. If you have not subscribed, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Calculus is asked for 6 to 8 marks. So, in the previous paper, in the June 2025, the calculus uh, in the, uh, the calculus part, there were approximately four to five questions asked in your June 2025 paper. And in the December 2024 paper, there are four questions asked in calculus. That's the reason I have given over here six to eight marks. Calculus gives you a lot of marks. 
again calculus being a bit uh, trickier many of the student tend to uh, leave it in the c category but as it has been coming for uh, 6 to 8 marks the number of questions being asked is increasing we have kept it in the uh, b category so next is going to be your central tendency dispersion skewness and the correlation regression these two chapter from statistics are again very 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 important chapters students at any cost you don't have to miss these chapters this chapter being a bit lengthier we have kept it in uh, your uh, category b but if you see these chapter are giving you a lot of marks central tendency and dispersion is giving you 14 to 16 marks and correlation and regression is giving you 12 to 14 marks so if you count on the lower side the chapter ct dispersion skewness and correlation regression is giving you approximately 26 marks two chapters are giving you 26 marks on the lower side and in the upper side if you see they are giving you 30 marks your central tendency dispersion correlation and regression important chapters but absolutely both the chapters are lengthy and if i tell about if i say about central tendency and dispersion if i talk about central tendency and dispersion this chapter is going to be very 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 if you learn the uh, formulas if you get the concepts uh, clearly in your mind this chapter is a bit easier chapter you can easily score great marks or all you can attempt all the questions from central tendency and central tendency dispersion students because the question asked are not that difficult mean median mode quartile deviation mean deviation standard deviation all these types of questions are from central tendency dispersion and students so that it is easy to uh, get all the marks or attempt all the questions from this step the correlation and regression is going to be a bit uh, trickier and it is going to uh, it is going to ask you a lot of time you have to give lot of time to all these chapters central tendency dispersion skewness and correlation regression these two chapters are going to ask you a lot of time that's the reason we have kept it in the uh, b category so these are the chapters if you see in the b category we are we see over here there are total six chapters sets apgp quadratic equation and calculus from the mathematics part ct dispersion qness and correlation regression from the statistics parts are going to be asked in your uh, are basically uh, categorized in the b part now if you see on the lower side the chapters from the b category are been asked for 40 marks from the mathematics part if you see on the lower side it is going to be asked for 40 marks and on the higher side it is been asked for 50 marks that is 50 percent of your syllabus 50 percent of your paper is being asked from the category b from six chapters so these are the chapters you can take a screenshot of everything for now we have discussed our section number b and section number c the categories b and c over here now before going to category number a again let me tell you that akash agarwal classes is going to come up with a big announcement on 20th september if you have not yet joined our whatsapp community do join the whatsapp community and all the students who want who are watching the lectures who are watching the lectures that have been recorded and uploaded in english but we have created a whatsapp community as uh, we have are uh, telling you in all the lectures do join our whatsapp community because such videos the abc analysis of mathematics and all, all these subjects are going to be uploaded eventually and the latest updates are going to be given on the whatsapp community so do join the whatsapp community for getting the latest up updates now the most important chapters that you have to focus are the category a chapters so in this if you see there are only four a category chapters and they are giving you 32 to 38 marks and if you see the chapter the first chapter is from mathematics and the first chapter of your 
uh, what you could say your index is also ratio proportion and variation so ratio proportion and variation is asked for six to eight marks that is three to four questions and as you all know ratio proportion and variation is a way 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 easier chapter that anybody could solve that's the reason it being an easier chapter easy to cope up easy to do and also six to eight mark it is going to give you six to eight marks that the re that is the reason we have given it into the a category so don't miss these chapters at any cost if you see the next chapter it is going to be permutation and combination permutation and combination is asked for four marks it is asked for four marks, but permutation and combination is going to come in category A as many, many, many students try and many students usually ignore this chapter permutation and combination. But you have to keep this permutation and combination in A category. You don't have to miss this chapter. You don't have to ignore this chapter as a permutation and combination. Some concepts of permutation and combination are going to help you in the probability as well. And probability is asked for 14 to 16 marks. So the after permutation combination, after permutation and combination, that is PNC, there comes a very important chapter from statistics, probability. Probability has been asked for 14 to 16 marks. Easily understandable, easily scorable, as you might have studied probability in your 10th, 11th, and 12th as well. So probability being a very easy chapter, it is it is going to come you, it is going to ask you for 14 to 16 marks, and it is going to come in the A category. And then last chapter, index number and time series, the last chapter of your statistics. Two chapters together, indices, uh, index number and time series give you 8 to 10 marks. So this chapter is also going to come or is also going to land in the category A. So these are all your chapters in category A, ratio, proportion, variation, permutation, combination, probability, index number and time series. Then in the B category, you could see sets, APGP, quadratic equation, calculus, central tendency, dispersion, skewness, correlation, regression, and SICI, indices and log, time series, and stats theory. If you want, you, could, you can take a screenshot of, uh, of this, uh, the, the basically PDF over here. You can take a screenshot. These are all the important chapters you have to focus on. Now, what should be your priority is also being discussed in this video. And uh, you can see it in this PDF itself. So these are the important chapters on the lower side you can see ma the part A that is your uh, A category is going to give you 32 to 32 marks and the higher side it is going to give you 38 marks. So this is going to be your ABC analysis for mathematics and statistics. Now you know which chapter is the important which you have to focus on and everything you need to know about mathematics. Your ABC and all your chapters over here. So that's all. Again, let me tell you, we are going to come up with many more such videos, many more strategy videos. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe to channel Akash Agarwal classes and do join our WhatsApp community. The link of the WhatsApp community is given in the description box. And yes, don't forget to share this video with all your friends. Till then, keep studying. Bye-bye. See you in this kind of strategy lecture.